Hi, you guys. I'm Siobhan. I'm a team lead on the CS Advertiser team, and I'm here to tell you about QueryStream. So what QueryStream is, is it's going to give you a, a general idea of all the search queries that come in for your keywords. One thing to know about your search queries is that sometimes that they can come in and get matched on a match type that might be more restrictive than what you're using. For example, if you're using a mod broad, it can get matched on a phrase or an exact. One of the good things about Query Stream is you can see that happening in real life and see how your match types are actually working for you. And if they're not, you're able to go ahead and make a change. So I'm gonna jump over here into the siding ad group here and to give you a little bit of a workflow on how you can figure out how to do that. If I come into siding, I'm then gonna jump over to my keywords. As we know, Impressions are going to be important because that's the amount of times that someone actually sees your ad. On the flip side, the amount of clicks that you receive is going to be directly correlated to your actual click-through rate, which goes into quality score. So by sorting by impressions, we're going to come over here to smart siding. It has a decent quality score, a decent click-through rate, 442 impressions. So if we click into here, noting that it is matched up on the mod broad, we can see if it's actually getting matched up on a mod broad in reality. So if I click on into this, this is what we call quick search query stream. I can come over here and click in to see more. So right now we're seeing that even though it is matched on that mod broad, it is actually getting matched on all of these phrase matches. We actually only have one search query that is coming up matching to that mod broad that you're using. So what you can do here is you know that you can absolutely add it on a more restrictive match type and still continue to get the same data and the same traffic that you are getting. If I come over here to the filters, I'm gonna uncheck this button here. Right now, everything that we're currently seeing is stuff that does not have a home within your account. Unchecking this, we're gonna see every single search query that came through. So I'm gonna hit apply, and if I sort by our match types, we can see that we only had one mod broad come in. We actually had 43 exacts. Um, and then we had, looks like six exact close variants. A close variant is going to be anything that Google thinks is similar, such as a spelling error, um, a typo, pluralization, function words, or even same meaning like automotive and automobile. And then we have all of these phrase matches as well down here. Again, with some close variants that you can see. Smart side, siding. They knew that was a typo and it should get matched up to smart siding. So right now, we know that we can go in and either A, add it on an exact match, or B, add it on a phrase match. If we ever wanted to add it on a phrase match, we know that we can still get matched up on a more restrictive match type, making it able to get matched up on phrase or exact. So if you wanted to go in and add this, click here, add as keyword, come over here and change that match type. Let's add it to phrase so we can still capture all that traffic. Hit save adjust your cost per click bid. Let's do $2 to be safe. And we can go in and add that as a keyword. On the flip side, if you're seeing anything in here that does not make sense, we can go in and add some negatives. So if we're looking at reviews and you don't necessarily want to show up for reviews because they can find them on another website, not on your paid ads, if you see this red underline, we can click here. That's gonna go and add it as a single term negative. Single term negative is going to block out way more traffic than a long tail negative. So if you're searching and looking through, find the root cause or the root word that does not make sense. We can come over here. It's gonna to default to a phrase match. So anything that shows up before or after reviews, that search query is not gonna show your ad. If I hit edit, I can come over here and add it to the entire account. I can hit save, and then if I hit add this as a negative, you can see that review actually disappears. You can't see it because we went in and added it as a keyword, and as we know, we're hiding anything that is already containing a negative, and now we're hiding anything added as keywords. So I recommend when you go in and you use Query Stream, start by going through Quick Search Query Stream and focusing on those keywords that are kind of giving you a hard time there. You can get really, really diligent and figure out which ones you should keep running with and which ones maybe you should add as negatives. One rule of thumb, 
even if a keyword doesn't always make sense, sometimes it is better on your wallet to actually add it as a keyword at a lower bid. And obviously you can ask your sales rep or your CS rep when you sign up for more information on that.